This is From the Third Eye, right here on OCTV and Audio.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the world premiere of From the Third Eye, the only podcast that gives you information about technology from a blind person's perspective. My name is Hunter Parker. For those that don't know me, which those of you watching on OCTV don't know me, and those of you listening to the audio version of this show elsewhere, uh, probably do. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, on this show, uh, it will be broadcasted uh, every two weeks. Um, it's when I publish new episodes here on OCTV and the audio version as well. Um, I will uh, be talking about technology, technology and, well, technology from a blind person's perspective because I am totally blind. I've been blind since birth. I uh, can't see a darn thing out of both of my eyes. I had some light perception out of my left eye at a young age, but that slowly went away, unfortunately. Um, but down uh, here, I love technology and I can't wait to share my knowledge with you guys here, both on OCTV and on the audio podcast as well. Now, <clears throat> what am I going to be talking about on the first show today? Well, I'm going to be talking about a hobby that I love the most, and I'm going to begin my series on how to get started in this hobby of mine that I love doing. Um, and that hobby would be internet radio. Now, you're probably wondering, what is the difference between internet radio versus your traditional AM or FM station? Well, an AM or FM station has to follow all sorts of guidelines. You can't swear, you can't uh, drop the F-bombs, you can't, uh, you have to play music that you're playing if it's a music formatted station in a certain order. Um, you have to play commercials. You There's so many rules from the FCC. Internet radio, a little bit different. Uh, the only real rule is, is you can't play copyrighted music unless you're licensed. If you license your station, which there's plenty of providers out there where that you can do that. Uh, radio 365 is one of them that's pretty popular. <clears throat> that can be very pricey. Um, I generally don't bother with that because one, I don't have an ex extensive music library anyhow, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Most of my music is royalty free or copyright free music, whether it be stuff I found online, um, stuff that I may have purchased um, online or stuff that I may have made myself. I do make my own music sometimes. Um, so if you're internet radio, you don't have to be licensed. If you're not going to play copyrighted music like Taylor Swift or Post Malone or any of those people, uh, you know, Zach Brown, man, whatever it is, you don't have to be licensed. You probably should, but you don't have to be. You're not going to get in trouble if you're not. Um, so if you're going to do like a talk formatted station or playing music from bands that aren't signed to a record label, um, you're golden on that one. Um, so that's pretty much it. Other than that, you can do whatever you want. If you want to drop the F-bomb on your show, well, have fun. There is no rules against that because the FCC doesn't... The FCC doesn't really follow internet radio closely. So, uh, it's not really a big deal. Now, uh, why am I talking about internet radio, you may be asking? Well, <clears throat> the reason I'm talking about internet radio is because I am actually in the process of launching my own internet radio station. I've run stations in the past. Some have been more successful than others. But I really want to get back into it again, and I really want to have fun with it. 
So my station is going to be called Wild 103, which the name Wild 103, um, I, uh, I ran the Wild 103 a uh, while back, several years ago with a girl that I was with at the time. Um, we were kind of long distance dating, um, sort of, although she did come to visit me a few times, well, several, quite a few times actually. She lived in New York State, and uh, between her and my mom, they got her to come here to visit me every once in a while and while we were together. And anyhow, she wanted to run a station. She's been in internet radio, you know, volunteering on stations uh, for a while, same as me. And uh, we wanted to run a station together. And I was still kind of new at it, but not very new at it. Um, the station was a flop because we had so many technical issues because because uh, we didn't really know what we were doing, I guess. Uh, we kind of did. I kind of wanted to run the station 24-7, so if there was no programming on the air, something would be playing all the time. So it didn't last long because we had so many glitches and uh, also because when we broke up, um, I didn't want to run it by myself, so I took it down. But I'm bringing it back, um, and it's going to be better, bigger and better than ever because now I know how to run the station 24-7 if I want to do that, which is what we're going to do, and it's going to be great now. For you OCTV viewers, I am about to give you early access to Wild 103 before the site even launches and before the station goes on the air for the first time. Yeah, that's right. You guys are in for a treat. And all you need to do is subscribe to our listeners' email list. Now, since there's no website can't do it on there. So I'm going to give you the address you need to subscribe to our list because if you get on the list now, I will send out emails updating you on the progress of the website and the launch of the station. So all you need to do to subscribe is to send a blank email, nothing in the subject, nothing in the message. Send it to Wild 103 listeners, the plus sign, which I'm sure you can figure that out. <laughs> um, wild 103 listeners plus subscribe, all lowercase, at googlegroups.com. That's wild 103 listeners plus subscribe at googlegroups.com. Send that email, do whatever it tells you to do to verify your email or whatever it tells you to do, and boom, you're in. Stay on that list because I will give you the latest news in your inbox on when I start the station and when the website is launched. Now, the cool thing about the website is going to be is if you want to do your own show on the station, you're more than welcome to do that. You'll be able to apply to be a broadcaster on the station and host your own talk show or whatever kind of a show you want to do. Of course, it's all volunteer. Most stations are volunteer, internet. It's very rare that you'll find an internet radio station that pays you. Usually those types of stations don't last, unsurprisingly. Because um, internet radio is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be a job. So it's supposed to be a fun hobby to get into. Later on in this podcast, uh, uh, in the upcoming weeks, I'm going to talk about how you would broadcast to a stream. What is required to broadcast to a station stream If you, for those that don't know how to do that. So... Um, I've kind of started the series a little bit in this episode about what's involved in starting a station because I said 
that you can't play copyrighted material unless you're licensed. That's one big thing you need to know before you even start working on starting a station. So on my next show, so in two weeks, two weeks from this episode, episode two, I'm going to talk about what kind of stuff do you need for your website for your station. Different web hosting options you can use to set up your website for your station, both paid and free. Mostly free, because everybody likes free and it shouldn't have to be costing you millions of dollars. So stay tuned for that. So that's going to do it uh, for the first episode. I've kind of given you a little introduction into internet radio a little bit. Like I said, on my next one in two weeks, I will be talking about web hosting. What are you going to use to host your website for your station? And then after that, on my third episode, we'll be getting into streaming. How to set up your streaming server. Uh, that's where I'll talk about how to broadcast to your server. Um, different things like that. And hopefully by then, Wild 103 probably will be released and launched by then. So this show will be broadcast on Wild 103 as well. That's why when I said in the beginning, when I said OCTV and the audio version elsewhere, right now we don't have a place to put it elsewhere, the audio version, except on a website called audio.com, which I'll be putting the audio version of this show over there for now. Once the station is launched, I will uh, be switching the audio version over to Wild103 instead of audio.com. So there you go with that. So thanks to everybody for tuning in. If you have any comments or concerns or questions about the show or would like more information about internet radio in general, you can visit the show's official website, fromthethirdeye.altervista.org. That's from the third eye. Dot a l t e r v i s t a dot org. That's the site. You can uh, there is a link to the audio dot com page for the show there, uh, where the show will be for now. Um, there's a contact form on the website if you want to email me with any uh, questions. You can fill that out, and I'll get back to you. Uh, I usually get back pretty quickly. I check my emails pretty frequently, so it shouldn't take too long to get back to you. Um, and uh, so once the uh, show moves to Wild 103, I will switch the link on the website uh, a little bit so you'll know uh, the various ways you can tune in to the show. So um, there you go with that. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the show as much as I did uh, putting it together for you. Thanks to OCTV for their help in making this possible. Uh, I appreciate it very much. And I will see you guys in two weeks for episode two, where I will talk about the website stuff. What do you need to host your website for your station? Because you kind of need a website. You can't just, people can't just tune into your stream without a website, technically. It's kind of difficult to do that. So <laughs> um, I'll get into all that next time. So until then, Take care, have a great day or evening, and we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.